Shabbat Shalom from Temple Concord. This week our Torah portion has a really powerful and important phrase that our world needs now more than ever. We're in Deuteronomy and we're nearing the end of the Torah reading, uh, the cycle, and we're, we're coming up on the High Holidays, and Moses is getting into his final sort of uh, instructions for the Israelite people, and he says to them at one point, don't abhor the Egyptians, which is a really fascinating statement because our natural instinct is to say, those guys were terrible, they were slaves to us and we want no part of them. But instead we're being taught, you know what, don't see them as the enemy. See them as another people, but don't abhor them. And in our world today, it's so easy to have a business of everybody who's not with us is automatically our absolute enemy. And our tradition is saying to us, be careful. Don't go down that road. Don't take that road and don't allow yourself to see the other one filled with dread and fear. Instead, just see them as someone you encountered before. If we do that, our world ends up being a bit safer, a bit better, a bit more pleasant. We know we need that now. We need it in our country, we need it in our community, we need it in our synagogue, we need it with each other. We need to find a way to not abhor the other. We need to be able to see ourselves in the other. I hope you'll join us in services this Friday evening and hopefully we'll have a chance to recognize our own holiness in the others we encounter. Services are at 6 p.m. Friday evening. Saturday morning services are at 11. We celebrate the Bar Mitzvah of Abe Solomon. Torah study proceeds then at 10. Sunday morning, our religious school is back uh, full throttle. We had a wonderful opening day last week. This week, we're back with regular classes and everything is chugging along. Sunday afternoon is the Jewish Musical and Cultural Festival at the JCC, and I hope you'll join us there. There's lots of good things going on. On Tuesday, our uh, continued high holiday study can, will, will take place at 1230, uh, and we look forward to the holidays coming up soon. By now, you should have received your high holiday packet and the program book for the year. I hope you'll take some time to go through all of it, to see all of the wonderful opportunities here at the temple, and to join us and be a part of it all. For now, I wish you a Shabbat of seeing the sacredness of the other find a way to not abhor the one who could be seen as a tormentor and instead to see them as somebody who's sacred, maybe different, but still sacred. If we do that, each of us is strengthened and the high holidays will truly be a time of change for all of us. Shabbat Shalom for now. Look forward to seeing you at the temple.